what do you think about collective punishment? Onesh collectivi. It's not human uh, behavior. Not moral. Uh, how do you feel about uh, collective punishment? Onesh, collectivity? We, do, we never do. No. We never do it. It's not true. It's a, it's a lie because we are doing things that we need the point. My husband was a, uh, uh, in, the, in the army and he was a judge in the army because he's a very big lawyer. Uh, I was also an officer. We are all, most of the, my brother is an officer. My, his other son is an officer. And we are not, we are not punishment. No one. We, we are just protect ourselves, and we are doing what we are have to do. So if my son is in the boat, and it's coming a woman, and she's she's pregnant, and she is not, and she has a bomb in his body, and I don't know if my my son will come back or not. This is the problem. And if a child is going, if a child is going with a bag to the school and you don't know if it's a family inside, so how you can say we are not humanity? So what what about things like checkpoints? Uh, what about... Um... What I said, this is exactly what, what okay. I said. If, my, if, if I am sending a son to protect, and he said to me, it's just 19 years old the last week, and he said, Mom, I don't know. I have children, and they are coming with the bags, and I don't know if the bags are with, with bombs or not. What you are doing? If it's your so son... Mo, mo, okay, I'm asking you, if it's your son, what you are doing? We never say... We, we don't send people with bombs them to be exploded. What about, the question was asked by a Palestinian who's from Ramallah, who said, I've never done anything violent in my life, but I have to go through the checkpoints for 10 years now. Okay. So I he says, why does he have to be punished? No, he's not punished. I'm, I, I'm checked also in this of center. Wherever okay. I'm going, I have to, to, to show my back. And I'm proud, I'm proud with it. Because they protect him too. Because if another person has a bomb and he's coming, we protect the person from Ramallah too. So it's not, it's not only we are suspicion the, the Arabs. We are protecting them at the same time. Because the bomb doesn't uh, know different if you are an Arab, if you are a Jew. The bomb is a bomb. Okay? So it's not exactly that we are uh, suspicious, because I'm suspicious too. Why I have to be checked all over, all over, wherever I'm going, in hospital, in canyon, in, in, in every place, in the cinema, every place, in the theater. So I'm also suspicious. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Uh, hold on. Uh, as, um, checkpoints checkpoints are aren't punishment. It's for our, uh, for Israeli security, and there's nothing we can do. Uh, on the other hand, you see Israeli Arabs walking around, and they don't have any issues. If there's no danger, I don't think we we just uh, make difficulty for for Palestinians. It, It's a problem. The terrorist groups like Hamas use use the simple people, the simple Palestinians or Arabs to to fight us. I think uh, the state of Israel tries as as, as uh, to to be uh, to be as little as possible involved sometimes there's no that we don't have any choice uh, the punishment is not collective they look for the individual people who who cause the problems okay so who do the terrorist acts okay so what about um, what about the uh, the average person who doesn't do anything violent 
and he has to be punished, like going through checkpoints. As my Ben Adam a pashutu lo alim, za ashe le dafke ba mi achad neile shub gar ber amala. Vu omer lama ni chayav la vo machsom kol yom le bederch le bet sefer or much kaze. Because it's impossible to know. If he has, if somebody has permission, they have no problem coming into Israel. It's, it's, it's uh, clear that it's not comfortable at all. And just like I'm an Israeli, and in every entrance to a mall, there's there's a guard, and I have to open my bag and be checked. That's a, uh, there's nothing I can do. That's the way it is. So it'll be secure for all of us, and we can all live here. Uh, what do you think about collective punishment? Onesh collective. For who? Palestinians. Uh, I don't like it uh, personally, but uh, I don't know. Do you think it happens, or it's not collective? It's like it's happened for sure. Uh, for example, this was an example given of Palestinians who have to go through checkpoints, who uh, get checked all the time, uh, who have their villages raided. Yeah, no, in general, in gen I'm going to give you a general answer. In generally, I'm not for that, I'm against that, but uh, it has to be um, viewed in specific uh, cases, you know, but generally, I'm against that. In short, yeah. But this is a very complicated uh, situation with. Uh, so you don't you don't consider it collective punishment? No. 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 Checkpoints and things like that. Okay. Yeah. So what would you call it? I don't know. Uh, I think it's uh, it's how we acting with them. It's uh, how I say it. It's like uh, we do what we have to do. Save ourselves for, for our security. Uh, and, uh, I'm not telling you. Sometimes. Every, yeah, I'm, I'm not telling you all the time we are uh, doing the right thing. Yes. The right, uh, but it's, it's a very, loop, if you know what it's, it is. It's very difficult. It's a cycle. It's, it's yeah, very, very cycle. difficult. Okay. And I'm not sure that we are uh, acting uh, perfect in a different way. But the, the, um, the most uh, security way to act with them was I'm not sure I agree with the term. Okay, so explain. So, yeah. so for example, I asked for example, what they okay. meant by that. Um, uh, things like checkpoints. Okay. Um, the, the fact, the idea that there are some people who commit violent acts yet the entire population of Palestinians have to pay for that, suffer. Right. I think that, you know, people suffer in the hands of, you know, not necessarily... Um, that's a good question. Um, I think it's unfortunate that there's some people who are innocent, we'll say, that they have to suffer. But I also think that that is something that uh, not just doesn't only have to go and focus on the Israeli you know, side, but also has to be looked in and said, what can we do to maybe um, try to uh, decrease the violence, um, build trust on both sides so that there won't be a need for checkpoints. Can you give an example? The uh, checkpoints. hours on the first Yes. Game? So, for example, checkpoints. Yeah. Another example. Um, uh, the fact, uh, the idea is that because a few people are violent in the territories, all, but all the people have to pay the consequences. All the people have to suffer because uh, because of the actions of a few. Yeah, after what you say right now, it's not worth the punishment, the collective punishment. But you know, uh, when you suffer something, when you suffer uh, uh, what people, uh, those terrorists do, people win, you feel the anger, you feel the anger towards them all. You can't control, you can't really control it. Exactly your reaction. Exactly like they do to us. With the Kassams. They don't uh, want to throw it on group. They don't care. 
children and we so care because we want to find the main the group that they destroy our hour. So we want to so you so you're targeting we, we are more, killers. Yeah. You're, you're, exactly. you're, you want to target the people who are actually carrying out yeah. the violence. On the other hand, yeah, we do know that not all of them are terrorists. We do want all the terrorists to be to gone, to be gone, to eliminate the terrorists so we can be um, safe. Okay. So if there was no violence, it would be all good.